اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم How do we assess cross loading? Now in order to do this, let me take this whole table to Excel. And let's paste it here. Let's improve the size a bit. Now have a look here. This is ASR and these are the four indicators of ASR. This is OL and these are the four or rather eight indicators of OL. This is OP and these are the five indicators of OP. Now what are these values here? Now if you look at this value here, which is under ASR and right next to ASR1. So this value here shows the loading of ASR1 under ASR, which is assurance. So if this item is put in as an indicator of ASR, its loading is 0.869. Now look at this loading here. It's under OL, but for ASR1. What if I add ASR with OL? What if I add the, the indicator ASR1 with the underlying construct OL? Its loading significantly decreases. Look at this here. If I put ASR1 with OP, the loading significantly decreases. ASR1 actually belongs to ASR. This is the indicator of ASR. So it must load higher and significantly well with its parent construct instead of the other two construct. Is this the case? Yes. Is this the case for this item as well? Is this the case for this item as well? Is this the case for this item as well? Yes. So no issues of discriminant validity for ASR that is assurance. Let's look at the other example. OL1. So where is OL1, OL2, OL3, OL8? Where is the parent construct of OL? Where are, where is the parent construct for all these indicators? Here it is. So these items, as they belong to OL, they must load better onto their own construct. How would I assess if it's, if these indicators are loading well onto their own parent construct? Look at the loading of OL1 if it's with OL, 0.667. But if I put OL1 with ASR, its loading is 0.416. If I put OL1 with OP, its loading is 0.376. Its loading is higher if I put it with OL. Look at the other loading. It's higher when I put it with its own parent construct. Similarly, for the rest of the six indicators of OL as well. They are loading well onto their own parent construct instead of loading onto their, onto the other constructs in this study. Look at OP. OP1, if it's loading with its own parent construct, its loading is 0.804. If I move it to OL or ASR, its loading decreases. Similarly for the other ones as well. So this shows that there is discriminant validity. So the items for a particular construct are loading well onto its own construct instead of the other constructs. Are they loading well onto their own construct? Yes. If they are loading well onto their own construct, this shows discriminant validity. Is there any issue of discriminant validity here? How would I identify? Now previously you have had a look at HTMT here. This is all good. So there is no issue of discriminant validity. What if there was an issue of discriminant validity? What, what if something here was red? What if this value was lower than these values. Then you will use cross loadings. You will come here in cross loadings or this table and see if a particular item is loading well onto other construct instead of its own parent construct. If it is, then you need to delete that particular item. For example, let's say we had an issue of discriminant validity and 
that issue was between asr and ol that issue was between asr and ol how do i say that it was between asr and ol let's assume let's assume this value here this value was less than this value just for the sake of assumption this value here asr and ol this value here the correlation for asr and ol was higher than this value here which is the square root of ave for asr just for the sake of assumption now if this is higher you will you will have to check for your cross loadings let's say i come to cross loading and i find out that this value here is 0.910 and this value here is 0.869 now look at this this particular asr1 is loading well on to another factor instead of its own parent construct because this loading here is higher than this loading and the difference is less than 0.10 the difference is less than 0.10 now we need to delete this indicator from our model in order to establish discriminant validity similarly you will assess the other indicators as well if the difference is less than 0.10 you should get rid of that indicator even if it's greater than 0.10 and there are discriminant validity issues check removing that item because it might be 0.11 or 0.12 still there is the difference is not that much but be very cautious about it